Hey guys, welcome back to Ya with Renu. So today, let's create a happy birthday lens. Okay, so it's just a very simple canvas based lens where we'll create a frame and on it we'll write happy birthday and anything else that you want to write. Okay, so first of all, how do we start this? We have to add an object and under this object, you will notice canvas. So click on canvas. So canvas is like a rectangle, a container where you can actually make it uh, like a board and you can write things on it. Okay, so bring it out. We don't want it to be a child of anything. And under this canvas, let's add a rectangle so that we can make like a border. Okay, so add rectangle. And first things first, you have to rename it. So let's rename it to the top part. Okay, so... Once you name it on top, you can move this around. Okay, so move this to the top and scale it so that you can make it bigger. You can either change the values here or you can just pull this. So I prefer pulling this, so I'm just using that way. Okay. Alright, and just pull it up. Okay, so let's create one for the bottom. And the bottom one is going to be the same size as the top one, so let's not we do the whole thing, we can just duplicate it and rename it as bottom okay so click on this click on your move tool here okay and bring this down so it's going to be the same size so if you want to see things easily uh, you know this part here all you have to do is right click and move your mouse so that you can actually yeah turn the UV panel around okay then next thing we're going to do is that we're going to add one on the left and one on the right. So that one is going to be a different size so we can add a new one. So add rectangle. Okay, move it to the side. I'm going to move it to the middle here. Okay, so it's aligned. Okay, and don't forget to rename it to left. Okay, alright. So change the size. You can use your scale tool or you can actually change it by changing the numbers not a problem okay and then again the right side is going to be exactly the same size as the left side so all you have to do is duplicate it rename it and move it to the right okay So don't worry about it overlapping because uh, later on we'll be changing the colors so you won't be obvious unless you have different colors then yes you have to adjust it later on all right so i'm just gonna move my left one a bit okay all right so as always if you want to change the color of something or you want to add something on on the frame you have to add a material so this material just plus plus and you'll have the material here so rename this material as outer frame because I'm going to have an outer frame and also an inner frame so an outer frame material okay click on it and you can actually change the color okay so I'm going to change it to blue okay all right so if you notice there's a little bit of gap here so I'm just going to move it up a bit okay all right so the bottom material is going to be the same color so you just have to press on outer frame material left is also the same color and right is the same color okay so now you have your outer frame now you want to add in an inner frame okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to add another canvas and we're going to bring it out because it's not a child of anything and then right click on the canvas and add another rectangle so I've already downloaded the frame um, texture from Spark AR Studio. Uh, you can also create your own frames, that's not a problem. Or you can get any PNG frames from Google. I'll click, I'll, I'll insert the link to the Spark AR Studio link uh, below. Okay, uh, so let's rename this as frame. Add a material, create a new material. Let's rename that material as inner frame. Okay. 
and we have to change the texture so new texture it's on my desktop save it wherever that's easy for you to find it later on okay and i just have to look for frame all right okay all right okay so i have a frame here right so what i can do is that change the size of the frame so that it suits the size of your face okay so let's make it bigger Okay, go side. And you can of course change your color, but I'm gonna keep it as white. So for me to keep it as white from your frame, the material right, change it to flat so that it looks white. Yeah. Okay, so once that's done, uh let's add in our text. So right click on canvas one. So we're gonna add in the text at canvas one. And we're gonna add in a 2D text. Okay, and if you notice here, uh, if you look at the inspector panel here, you see under typography there's something called text, right? So this is where we're gonna change it later on. But first, rename. So I'm just gonna change the text and write here happy birthday. So I know that this is the text for happy birthday. Okay, so same thing here. the text that you want to add in so put this now and then i'm going to change the font so you can change it to anything that you like i kind of like moto sans ball italic so let's put it there and you can change the font size since this is too big so let's put as 32 oh, it's still too big 30 because i want everything to be in one one line okay and then You can play around with how it looks like here. It's still too big for me. Okay, and you can move this up. Make sure this is highlighted and you can move this up or move this down anywhere you want. Okay, and if you're not happy with the color, all you have to do is change the color here. So I'm going to leave it as white so that it's obvious. Okay? Alright, so next thing we're going to do is that we're going to add another 2D text. So, under canvas, right click that and add another 2D text. So, this one can be anything that you want to send to your friends. So, I'm just going to say, um, have a great day. So you can never have a space between whatever you rename so here what we're gonna write is have a great day okay if it's too big make it smaller let's say 24 okay and then we have to move it down move it down all the way to this canvas part Can also fit scale to fit so it's too small right but it's up to you how you want to put it so let's make it white okay and yeah you have it here so it doesn't look obvious because it's quite small so let me change it okay so of course i can change the writing again okay and then you are of course welcome to add anything you want on your face and Stuff like that but i'm just going to create a very simple one here so once that's done uh all you have to do is test it out remember like i told you you have to test it on the device so you can send it either to your facebook camera or instagram camera and publish it so ta -da, that's all that's your birthday card for your friend or your loved one so if you like this video and you found it valuable please share it around with your friends and don't forget to subscribe as i'll be putting more videos on how can you create lenses and filters on Instagram and also Snapchat. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.